Hello, Bloodhound here. Welcome back to Heart Divine 4. So, here we are, and we are preparing for our war with Germany while well, they are having some trouble on their front on the west. We just want to try and get as much any tank as possible because we are low on that. So... And some of our units have finished training, so we've got them that. And the rest of these armies that aren't actually assigned anywhere are just going to be reserves. How is our infrastructure in this section? Shit. Very shit. I have priority right there to get our infrastructure built. And you're on to the next plane. There goes the air war here. Still losing like four. <sighs> it must be doctrine. This is literally the only reason. I think we will do this one. Because it's got a lot of air and deception. Deception, efficiency, ground support. That agility is pretty good. On the defense. Huh. Cass. Yeah, since we're not really using cast, it's not really worth it. We'll just go this one. Hopefully that'll make our stuff better. Because at this point, I don't even know what to do to make anything better. Gives it a little bit more range. It's important. This gives a little bit more air attack. Slows us down a bit. Knocks off some agility. Eh. Do forced rotation. Not going to be many airfields over here, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about air combat for now. You're the old one, right? Yeah, we don't need you. You're obsolete. <sighs> okay. Bad guns. Your AT up to fifteen. We 
need liability high. Hmm. Don't know if it's worth it just for that small amount of gain. Like our tanks also need upgrading, right? Yeah, you don't have any. This one has main gun liability. Interesting. Who's not giving us what we need? You're giving us too much. You're giving us four? Only four? Hmm, can't get any count of them. Maybe a rock will give us some. Fine, it'll do. Germany is our biggest supplier of steel. Um, okay, not giving you one. Dang it, we need more steel, so we need to take some. From Germany is our best and only option, really. Uh, you are not complete. You are ready to go. Oh, you're the actual army. Group. Alright, well... You guys are at least trained. You're probably good enough for now. We just need these anti-tank guns to be rolled out. That is at maximum. So we need to... Well, that's where we're building all these... Extra... Supply highways through there. Mm hmm. All right, that seems good. They're pushing them back a bit. Once we declare war, though, everything's going to change. They're going to completely abandon the Western Front, and we will face the full might of Germany. Well, whoever's on the West will basically face nothing. How long will that take? Till May 46. Hey, that's really quick. That's only like three months. So, yeah, once these things get a bit more built up, we'll throw some of those to the top so we can get some oil. Um, still nothing of note, right? Forts, anti-air guns, conversion, which I, like, never do. Hmm. 
Yeah, there's nothing really to do on that front. How about subjects? You've got a while to go. And we just don't have the stuff to waste giving them anything. Units are pouring into the front here. Good. Well, armor's finally on their way. Mm, they got panther. It says light tank, though. Maybe they're... They look like panthers to me, but I mean, that's the light tank division, is it? Yeah, two light tank, no anti-tank. The infantry's got some anti-tank. Two tank, two mech, two truck. That's actually pretty light. Which means we should easily be able to crush them. Our any tank guns are almost fully deployed. Should only last another, what, 26 days. Alright. Well, I guess... You can stop doing that. You guys can stop that. Get your gear back. You're still waiting on tank. Tanks to arrive. Because we're still gearing up our moderns, aren't we? Yes. Yes, we are. Unfortunate. You're ill. You only just got here. And you're gonna be in charge, with brand new generals in charge of our armor. Just because you're a cavalryman, so combined arms, you're better for that. Leading our mechanized and motorized. What are you? You're that that I don't need. Good, go away. So we have two armies. He, two foot armies ready to deploy to wherever necessary and a mobile army also to be honest if I have the excess I wouldn't mind putting there So you can go out like that. Even the Soviet Union's back over here. You are just on so many fronts. Don't need Republic of Korean troops. You're doing well though. You've got 12 factories, 15 factories. You guys are going great. Your reconstruction is doing very well. I'm quite happy about that. Alright, well, I guess we'll have to get going soon, otherwise we're just not going to be able to seasonally land because everything will be gone. So let's start fabricating, shall we?
All right. Armies are ready and prepared. How is this? Still a lot of ships there. Good. On average, we're still losing a two to one ratio. It's crazy. Need more oil out of them. All right. Go. Germany, hopefully you're not going to just instantly roll us. Doesn't matter, I'm already at war with Japan and Italy, well, whatevs. Okay, so, activate everybody's mission. Go! I see. Interesting choice, as usual. Throw all of your units into one thing. And potentially leave yourself surrounded. Good idea. Alright, so the armor is breaching. Just 100%. It's all good. We've broken them back. Having trouble crossing these fronts here on the snow. A little bit over the top on supplies here. Everyone has any tank guns, so that's at least the important thing here. Our goal is to secure here. Head up, secure the Ural Mountains as our border. Then we'll secure and kill everything stuck in Siberia. That's why we're using our trucks and armor to breach straight through the center here before any reinforcements can arrive. Imperial Guard, just crush this little pocket, take it home. Unfulfilled. Germany can't provide us with what we want. Pretty Farage, just, they're shortchanging us too much. Fuck them. We'll just go without that oil. I really need to, to, to trade with the US, but we can't do it while the Japanese Navy is sitting there. What is... how is this line going? You guys are very slowly taking that. Good. Push forward. We can sweep in once you've secured the mountains here. Might even be able to just grab a few of these. Head down to the Iranian border. And just secure that pocket. What are you? Fighter tech. Is there actually an air war going on here? 
Not really. Because there's no planes out in this area. We have to fight the allies. Is Germany actually getting close to surrender? Yes, they are. They're fighting at Berlin. The United States has landed in the Baltic. This is the beginning of the end. I would say it probably is. But if Germany surrenders, all of this land is going to we'll flip back to the Soviets and then we will seize all of Soviet land. So it's uh, pretty good. Pretty good for us if that happens. Basically, the most important thing for us is to secure this. The steel, everything out here. Not much else that we need. Eventually, we could go out of here, but... Capital in Vienna now. How are you going, Germany? You're almost there on the surrender. Thing. If you guys can do it quickly, that would be good. Because at this point, we are looking like... Go aggressive, too. Naval Bomber 2s. Let's get Naval 3s. Don't need you, but thanks for the offer. Well, Luxembourg's getting pretty big. <laughs> Experimental rockets, rocket engines. Those units will be indeed surrounded. Good. We got an explosion of troops through here. Our trucks. Now, this is spreading our lines a bit thin at the front there. We might need to throw out a second army to help this green army. For they are spread over such a huge area.
That's it. Good, we're walking out into the tundra. What do we got? Research, what were you doing? You were the trucks, which you to go marines. They don't have the units to cover the whole front there anyway. Sit men, get on there. Only a few tanks left. How are we going with that? Easy penetration. Enemies have air support, but how? Where are they getting their planes from? They must have some airfields up here in the Transurals or something. Well, Germany's collapsed. They're going to surrender any moment now. That was basically just a blitz. Yugoslavian Confederation. In which case, let's just... If you do that, tanks, you may as well just blitz that way. I see. Okay. Well, we don't need you there. We don't need you here. That's where you all need to be. need to be on this front anymore either. We're gonna grab these guys. You guys can stay on that front to deal with them. Just have our tanks rolling forward. Spread you guys out like that. You got like a few units just trapped here. Just, just kill them off and move on. We've lost so many of our anti tank guns. And with our slow production because of our lack of fuel. Our goal and our main point should be, we're going to grab this army, you guys, and put here, and your goal is to secure the oil that we require. That's it. Go get it. Okay. 
you guys of the first army. Your goal is obviously to take this little pocket that you're sitting on. Go get it. We're getting tons more factories. They are deploying more troops here, but I think we're good in terms of... I think we're good for this. We should be able to secure most of this area. So with the Soviet Union going to be back, we will get to annex all of that. The only problem is that if Germany surrenders, we're going to have to attack the Allies anyway. But at least we'll have uh, set up our plan for Siberia and Russia. You second army? Shouldn't you be... shouldn't there be a... What? What army is this? They're not second? I can't tell. Shouldn't there be a change? So that should be second. That's third. Yeah, no, that's fine. I don't know why you guys have attached yourselves. Good, the Imperial Guard Army's arrived. Just to march around and secure all of that. Come on Germany, hold Vienna just a bit longer. I need to have secured all of Russia. So who's left in that Russia war? Russia, Russia, common turn. Spain, that's right. That was our problem, we had to get to Europe. And there was only one way to get there. Now we are the Empire of China. Look at this. Southeast Asia to the Urals. The Black Sea, the Caspian Sea. Now all we need is the Baltic and we've got like all Germany surrendering, you like. Yep. See ya. This changes nothing. In fact, everybody on full speed now. Because there is nothing here. What's left of Germany? The Axis, the general government. This people. So they're the last major power in the Axis. Okay. I don't really mind, but... Go! Now it's just a free reign through the Soviet Union. We 
which means all of that sweet, sweet resources. Great news! Yes, develop that oil. Yeah, we don't have any bombers, do we? We still haven't won the air war. We need to throw more planes into that. Just all of the planes. Every plane we have into this battle. We're going to deploy everything. For this. See forty fours. Still got a bunch of those old planes. Now we need to deploy... Bombers... Strat Bombers. Say twenty five of these if they exist. Now, if we own this place, how much fighter power do we have? not get it. What? Who are you allied with? The, the UK? I didn't get a say in that, so now I'm at war with the allies? What? Uh, what? Oh shit, okay, um, for the you guys. Shit, are you kidding me? Why didn't I get a say in that? Fucking kidding me. Um... Can't do a major line either. Fine, we'll just do you there. You here. I have to hope that they won't bring in anyone. I won't even get to set up any of my cool governments and things 
why did that not... I was at war with the other Germany, not this one. It looks like we're at war with the world! <laughs> oh my god. Jesus. Alright, well, that'll be a fun thing for next time. Thanks for watching, and I'll see ya.